All right, guys. So I guess the theme of my videos today will be about how uh, society seems to be doomed. Again, especially when it comes to the influences on young people, teenagers, and kids that we're constantly seeing, okay? And I guess I'm using celebrities and their drama as a way to highlight those things. As the internet exploded, and I actually missed this story, um, <laughs> the internet went crazy over the fact that Dwayne Wade uh, posted a picture of his 14-year-old son who is transitioning into a girl. Um, so he's transitioning to his daughter uh, kissing their boyfriend on Easter, right? He, he posted this on Easter, okay? Now, here's the kicker. Uh, the boyfriend is actually a biological girl that is transitioning into a boy, okay? I, I want y'all to understand that. Dwayne Wade's biological son, who's transitioning to a girl, is dating a biological girl who's transitioning into a boy. And Dwayne Wade posted a picture of them kissing on Easter Sunday. Now, a lot of people are criticizing Dwayne Wade over this because this has been a controversial issue for him for a long time. A lot of people are saying that he has failed as a father, okay? Because he allowed his young son uh, to transition, okay, at such a young age. And um, a lot of people are also blaming Gabrielle Union for this, his wife, as it seems to be that she was the main catalyst promoting this lifestyle and transition on this young biological boy. Because she has been the main influence in this young boy's life uh, when Dwayne Wade was playing in the NBA, okay, mainly for the Miami Heat, okay? He's away, you know, making his money, making a bread, and she's there with him, uh, basically affirming the feelings that this young boy was having at the time about uh his gender and i think there's reason to believe that she probably was kind of pushing this on him to say hey you know what maybe you are a girl and this seems to be the latest kind of manifestation of what i believe happened here and this is fascinating stuff because this is not the first time i've heard a story about how you know a mother's influence uh dealing with kids who may be experiencing some of these you know issues going on uh it's kind of pushing them in a direction that is not traditional right i don't know if you guys remember i did a story about mr jeff younger in texas who was being protested uh by woke college kids when he was trying to give a speech at a, a college in texas right and his whole issue was the fact that uh he was married uh to a woman and he had two children by the woman they were both boys and one of the boys is experiencing some some gender identity issues and the mother because she has custody of the kids is basically being allowed to push gender affirming health care okay on uh one of his sons and he's like no i don't want this for my son i don't think we should be pushing it on my son i think the kids are like nine or ten years old or something like that and uh now he's in a fight <laughs> to try to stop his young son from transition which in my opinion is a father's worst nightmare again i would not wish that on any father in the world to go through a situation like that okay but unlike jeff uh Dwayne wade doesn't seem, seem to be the type of father that is pushing back against some of the things and people that <laughs> seem to be influencing his uh biological son okay and in this case it probably is gabrielle union his wife who is not even the mother of Zaya Wade, okay? Um, so that being said, I mean, Dwayne Wade actually seems to be very, very, very supportive of this. And because of his his support, uh, a lot of people are criticizing him and saying that he failed as a father. So uh, let's go ahead and read more about this because this is a interesting story that has left me very, very confused, okay? Uh, social media once again discussed Zaya Wade after Gabrielle Union posted a family photo on Easter. As many families do on holidays, the 49-year-old actress posted a photo of her family members and the partners of the young family members on social media. In the photo is Union Dwayne Wade, uh, Kavia Zaire Wade, and girlfriend Lola and Clark Zaya and boyfriend 
Hudson. Zaya's boyfriend being in the Wade family photo led to a few salty comments from social media trolls, but what really ramped up the conversation was a photo on Hudson's page. Passover and Easter have never been more fun. Love you, Hudson. Caption read, Zaya Wade. On the final slide of Hudson's tribute to Zaya was a picture of him kissing the 14-year-old. Now, I'm not going to post any pictures of 14-year-olds kissing on my YouTube channel, okay? Uh, Because I'm not out here trying to promote that type of stuff. I don't care what the sexual or gender identity of the individuals are, okay? I just think that's weird to be posting that stuff. Uh, which, in my opinion, has led to some valid criticism of Dwayne Wade here. Some of whom we're going <laughs> to read right here from social media that says, quote, the Wades need to go to jail. <laughs> Circulated a pic of two kids kissing is strange. Uh, Dane Marcus tweeted, I don't care about what Wade's kids does that much, and whoever took that pic and posted it probably can't be a union is weird as F2. Maybe I'm old school, but sexualizing minor teens is not okay under any circumstance. Uh, just J4 tweeted, my son will be 14 next year and he wouldn't dare try this in my presence. My heart hurts for Zaya Wade's mother. She doesn't have a say in Dwayne Wade's foolishness. Okay, so in my opinion, right, regardless of what you think about the whole gender thing going on with Zaya Wade, uh, I think this is valid criticism, right? Because again, take that out of it, right? If this is Dwayne Wade's daughter, which he, he says that it is, um, under what circumstances <laughs> is a father going to be okay with his 14-year-old daughter um, posting pictures of them kissing their boyfriend on social media, right? And under what circumstances is it okay? Again, I, I think that's very valid criticism, <laughs> right? I, and again, even if it was a normal situation in which you had, you know, a, a regular biological female daughter kissing their biologically male boyfriend and the other way around as well again a lot of people wouldn't be okay with that right a lot of people would say hey you know that's bad parenting okay you, you shouldn't be allowing those type of pictures to be put out there on uh the internet not only that why are you allowing that in your presence okay as a father why are you allowing your uh daughter to kiss their boyfriend right in front of your face <laughs> okay and then post a picture on the internet on easter sunday we can't forget that part. That's a very important part of the story that I have to emphasize. On Easter Sunday, again, if this is what they're allowing to be published for the public, <laughs> what are they allowing to be done behind closed doors? <laughs> again, I think that's a very valid question. Now, in my opinion, is it really my business? Not really. But when you post stuff on the internet for everybody to see, uh, people are going to have opinions. And I have a right to have an opinion. Do I personally care? No. But in this situation, because they are celebrities, Dwayne Wade is influential. Gabrielle Union is influential. Uh, their uh, son that has transitioned to a daughter is influential. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have some commentary on it. I'm going to have some opinions. Because while the libertarian in me doesn't really care about what they do in their personal lives, the conservative in me makes me care about the influence that they have on other people in broader society as a whole. Because this does affect other people. It influences other people. Right. And we've seen this stuff not only being pushed by celebrities, but it's being pushed in schools. It's being pushed by the Democrat Party, you know, as normal. And they're basically arguing and saying that you should be accepting of this stuff, even if it's being pushed on children. OK, and if you don't, then you're a bigot. Right. If you don't, then you're a bigot, even though it is a very, very, very valid argument to be made that a lot of kids are going to grow up regretting some of the decisions that their parents allowed them to make and some of the things that have been pushed on them uh by the democrat party and left okay um that that's the sad part about this stuff okay uh is, is zaya way really old enough to understand exactly what they're doing okay I, I don't think so and it is entirely possible that zaya wade could grow up to regret uh his father allowing him to go through this okay that's entirely possible but see, the alternative here, which is what reasonable people have been proposing, is situations like this, um, what you do is you just make them wait till they're 18. And you say, hey, listen, um, I understand that you have these feelings, but y you need to wait till you're 18 before you start making these decisions. We, we shouldn't be pushing this on you when you are 10, 11, 12 years old, which is what happened with Dwayne Wade's son. Okay? Uh, so <laughs> let's read a little bit more here because there are people that have come to Zaya's defense. Uh, other people came to Zaya's defense. Quote, black people think Wade is a bad father for not beating Zaya and allowing her to transition comfortably with loving support of her family. London Milan tweeted, 
it must be difficult for Wade to constantly see grown a man trying to tell him how to raise his child in a toxic way. I respect him. Y'all need to leave Zaya Wade alone and mind your business. Zaya Wade breathes and a bunch of grown a men start paying them sales. Okay, so uh, some of the wokes are saying that, you know, men who are criticizing Dwayne Wade over this, uh, saying that he failed as a father, right, and criticizing him as a father for this, uh, you, you know, they need to mind their own business, right, that this is not a concern, okay, but um, I, I would make a counter argument that it actually is a concern because, uh, you know, there are people who are fathers or who are not fathers yet, but want to be fathers in the future who will be fathers um, who don't necessarily want this type of influence in their kid's life, okay? It's hard to control what kids are exposed to, and when this stuff is being pushed out here into the open, okay, and you have certain people being held up as celebrities and influencers, again, they have an impact on people's children, right? There's things they put out there, the photos they put out there, the, the ideas they put out there, okay? And, you know, I can imagine as a parent, it would be hard to keep that type of content away from kids considering how it's basically everywhere now. And kids are easily influenced. Somebody like Zaya Wade is going to be put on magazine covers. They're going to be put out there in the public for kids to see uh, as a role model, right? That, that's what's going to happen. So these people that sit here and say, oh, well, it's nobody's business, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're right if they didn't post it, right? If they didn't publicize it, if they weren't famous. I don't really care about the random person that's not famous, that's not out here, you know, promoting this stuff. I don't really care about what they do. If they want to have whatever they got going on with their family and their kids transition or whatever, I really don't care. I don't agree with it. Uh, I don't think that the state should allow it. But hey, you know, if they do allow it, am I going to throw a big fit over it? No. But in a situation like this where you have people who have influence, who are openly pushing this stuff, this does actually have an effect on people, right? It creates a situation like the situation I told you guys with Jeff Younger that is a father's worst nightmare. And a lot of fathers, I can imagine, do not want to go through that. They don't want to be in a position like Jeff Younger or Dwayne Wade, right? Uh, so with that being said, let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.